You're in this video because dual PC setup came across your mind. And let's be honest, you're searching about it, how to do it, what do you need to do it, how is the audio, how do you set up, how do you do everything? And every post that you see, make it seem like a nightmare, you know, like a nightmare to set up or do even. And honestly, that's what I've seen too. But as soon as I've actually tried doing the dual PC setup, I realized that it's basically running to OBS and then another PC with more wires. So um, I'll tell you exactly how to easily set up a dual PC setup in this video. So let's get started. All right, we're now on my desktop, specifically Photoshop, because I made this diagram for my last video talking about the capture card that I actually use for my dual PC setup. So if you wanna watch that prior to this video, then check out the description down below. But yeah, this is my personal setup. This is how I personally wanted to do it, and this is the fastest way. Let me first talk about where things go like the things that are not in the diagram here so i want to say that my camera i don't know why i drew it like that but my camera is connected on the second pc now my microphone and headphones are both connected to the gaming pc why because i run discord on the gaming pc too those are just how i want to do it because when I'm not streaming, the streaming PC is not on. So I want to be able to do everything on my gaming PC, game on it, and then do work, talk to my friends. And then when I'm streaming, I just pop open my, you know, my streaming PC, and then boom, I have access to my screen being mirrored to another PC and then streaming that mirrored screen to the internet, if that makes sense. So OBS and then all the whatever alerts are on the second PC. So that's great. This is how I wanted to do it. Now, how do I have it set up? First of all, HDMI on the graphics card going to the input on the capture card. But now you're probably asking, why is there no arrow between output, which is the pass through of the capture card going to the monitor? Because this monitor uses display port and I don't want to use HDMI on it. So what I did instead is duplicate the, you know, the signal of this monitor through Windows to the capture card by just going to the Windows display settings and then duplicating it because capture cards are seen as another monitor when you have it plugged in by HDMI. The capture card just sends the signal to the streaming PC. That's how easy it is. And I don't know why it's a nightmare for a lot of people. Well, I guess they always talk about the audio as kind of the nightmare of the whole PC setup. But here, this is the easiest method to send every audio from your gaming PC to the second PC. So all you got to do is install software called SteelSeries Sonar GG or this new software from Logitech called the Audio Mixline or Mixline, Logitech Mixline. They're practically the same thing, just different UI. So I'll be using SteelSeries Sonar GG because that's what I know how to use. So here, after you download the program, you will be getting this, you know, this window right here as soon as you open it. And then just head over to the Sonar GG or Sonar tab right here. Make sure streamer mode is open. And then you got all your audio here. Now I have mine set, you know, on my specifics here. So the game audio, this is what I hear on my headphones. This is what the stream would hear or the second PC would hear. And same thing with Discord, uh, it will pop up here. And then the browser and then whatsoever. And of course my microphone that is connected on the gaming PC. So once the streamer mode is on, master, and then go to the gear icon. And then right here, personal mix should be your headphones or IEMs or whatsoever on your gaming PC. And your mic input should be your microphone. Now, right here is the magic thing. Stream mix, which is the, everything that is right here with the broadcast icon. Now I have it set on Celsius Sonar Stream right now because I'm sending all my audio back to just the OBS in the gaming PC. But if you're going to send it over on your second PC through the HDMI capture card, all you got to do is find it right here. Now for me, it is called HDMI to USB, which is AMD high definition audio device because it's technically a monitor. The capture card is this one. So if I press this one, automatically all my audio would be sent over the second PC. So basically, just press plus on OBS, go into video capture device, press OK. 
Now select the device. My capture card is called the A320 or the Liano capture card. And then I'm just going to set my resolution here. It can do up to 1440p, but I'll just do 1080p and then match output FPS or maybe highest FPS, 60 FPS. And then here on the audio output mode, all I got to do is press on check and then go and select it right here. It should be named digital audio interface A320 or whatever your capture card is called. And then I'll also receive the audio. But uh, yeah, since I'm recording on my real PC OBS, it's not going to show up there yet. But yeah, that's just how I have my second PC set up. That was super easy. Well, at least the method that I've told you in this video, because they're all really super duper easy to do. Sending your video and, you know, audio feed straight up to the HDMI capture card, then from the capture card going to the streaming PC. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Links on the description down below about the capture card that I used in this video. If you have any questions, I'll try to help you just comment them down on the comment section below. Anyway, if this video helped, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends or those people who you think, you know, are planning to do a dual PC setup and are a little bit scared because of all the things on the internet. Um, but yeah, again, this is Alan. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.